Bonjour everyone, this is Graham from the Small Motorhome campsite, um, Small Motorhome website and forum. And today, as you might have guessed, we're in France and we're at the Camping Chateau de Galini. I think that's how you pronounce it, you'll have to excuse my pronunciations. Uh, Cap Camping Chateau de Galini and uh, it's in, um, it's just outside. Uh, Saint Cast de Gildo or Le Gildo, Saint Cast Le Gildo and it's in Northern Brittany and it's a Castells Le Castells uh, campsite this is a reception so when you come you need to go to a reception because you can't get in the site without going to reception and uh, if we go and have a look at what's on site we can go down here it's a beautiful um, park-like setting, lots of trees, lots of bird life. We'll go and have a look what's in the, in the campsite itself. It's one of these big campsites with um, lots of facilities, outdoor swimming pool, indoor swimming pool, restaurant, uh, little shop, etc. But we'll go and have a look at those now. So as you say, as you see here, we've got a bar, restaurant, um, a shop, uh, aquatic park, and a covered uh, swimming pool, tennis, mini golf, and a salle de jeu. So this is a little salle de jeu. If you've got children or um, grandchildren, this might be of interest to them. It's not very big, but there's a few games in there to play. Slot machines, uh, pinball machines and that sort of thing. This is a little shop. Um, it's open from 8.30 till 11am at the moment. 8am to 11am. Uh, so I'm not sure whether that's because it's low season at the moment we're here in June so whether it opens um, more during August and July I don't know possibly over here we've got some uh, table tennis tables and over here there's a swimming pool it's an open air swimming pool I've not been in it so I don't know whether it's um, whether it's actually heated or not. But uh, that would be quite nice on a summer's day, on a nice hot day. Got a few uh, flumes there to slide, slides to go down. Some sunbeds. That looks like the mini golf over there. Little air de jeu for the children. is a bit more of a swimming pool. Now you do have to have a wristband to use the facilities. Um, I suppose that's to stop people coming from outside who aren't uh, actually on the site. So you will need a wristband but they give you that at reception anyway. And over here is the bar restaurant. Now again we've not used it but um, it does look quite reasonable, there's a takeaway as well. So, just to give you an idea of the prices, we're in June 9, uh, 2018. So obviously, depending on when you're coming, these prices might be different. But uh, we've got quite a good, quite a good menu there. Uh, they explain it in English as well. And there's a takeaway menu as well. And up this way, we've got the indoor swimming pool. But this is the outside bar area, or restaurant area. 
Over that way there's some tennis courts. Tennis courts over there. And it looks like Another court there for playing basketball. In fact, they've got, it looks like they've got football nets here, little football nets as well. So, oh, cater for all sorts of sports. Restaurant looks nice. Table's nicely set out. So this is a swimming pool, it's not massive, the indoor swimming pool I should say, it's not massive but uh, it's fairly, fairly big and I would imagine that that's, uh, that's actually heated. Some beds out here as well. So these are all the facilities, they're all clustered together away from the uh, emplacements or pitches, camping pitches. So uh, there's a little bit of a walk up to the swimming pool etc. But we're going to have a look at the pitches now. Over there is where you take your rubbish. Now they're very keen on recycling bottles, tins, uh, cardboard, cartons, that sort of thing. So uh, you have to got a bit of a walk to bring your rubbish down but it's not too bad so it's one of these sites which uh, has static homes as well as safari tents and ready erected tents um, so you will get um, a lot of British people come with Eurocamp etc um, but there are also pitches dotted in between um, the, the static vans and things so you can sort of, there's lots of scope for uh, different pitches so you can more or less pick, pick a pitch that you want um, but a lot of the pitches for touring are all together round this way so we'll go and have a look at those And this is a typical pitch which as you can see it's very large bordered by hedges so you've got a hedge between you and the next pitch electricity on the pitch now they do do pitches superior pitches with water electric and drainage etc on the pitch uh, but that costs you a little bit more Some more safari tents down there, or villa tents, I think they call them. Quite a lot of British people, um, but I have seen Germans, uh, Belgian people, etc. So it was a good mixture of uh, nationalities. It's not all British, so if you do want to come, uh, you won't, it won't be like Britain abroad. Um, the staff do speak good English, so you don't have to worry too much about the language. Some lovely pitches up here, actually. You don't have to be amongst the throng. You can, uh, you can have a pitch away from everybody else. So 
some lovely pitches actually. A lot of it's shaded, but there are some uh, pitches in the open area as well. So you can have a mixture of sun and shade, depending on what time of year it is and uh, how much you want to, uh, how much sun you want. If you don't want a lot of sun, if it's uh, really hot, pick a pitch with shade. Some more different style cabins here. Presumably there to rent. These are the toilet facilities. Now they do have ladies and gents, but low season you might find that uh, it's all ladies and gents in the gents. These toilets are beautiful. Beautifully kept, clean. Showers. Look at that. Lovely showers. So that's the toilet facilities. Absolutely beautiful. Inside there there's washing machines and dryers and the ironing board and things. So if you want to do your washing when you're away you can do that. It actually covers a vast area this, um, this campsite does. I think it's something like 400 acres. Another little kiddies park over there. Uh, yeah, so covers about four ac 400 acres so uh, Lots and lots of room. Now as I say we're here in June 2018 and uh, I don't think you'd have to book um, if you wanted to come this time of year and uh, at the moment I've just had a look on the board we're not actually here with our motor home we're uh, with Eurocamp this time but I've just looked on the board and we could have come and um, for a, a pitch with electricity, two people with a motorhome in June 2018 it would be around 23 euros which is what at the moment I think with the exchange rate it's probably about 20 pound, 21 pound, something like that because it's very much similar so uh, yeah, it's a nice sight this is uh, there's a supermarket just up the road at a place called um, Matig Matignon, Matignon, a place called Matignon, big super U supermarket. So uh, uh, you can get your shopping there. Um, beach in Saint Cast is uh, quite nice. In fact, it's very nice. Lovely sandy beach. So uh, you can uh, nip down there if you're a beach lover. And uh, yeah, it's a rather nice place. It's in northern Brittany. Uh, I think I said Northern France to start with, didn't I? But it's in Northern Brittany and uh, it's at a place just outside Saint Cast uh, Le... Uh, Saint Cast Le... Oh, I can't remember what it's called now. Saint Cast Le Gil or something like that. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely campsite this is. So if you're in the vicinity, give it a try. And uh, I think you'll like it. OK, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you found this of some use. Some use. Uh, so, if you come and try this place, put a comment in the comments below. Tell me what you think, because uh, I think it's quite a nice site. That's all for now then. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And we'll see you on the next video. Cheers for now.